Calculating image statistics is extremely easy to do in Envy. All we need to do is go to Basic Tools, Statistics and Compute Statistics. Now there it asks us for an import file, which here I'm going to use my subset at sensor reflectance image, and I'll accept all defaults there and just click OK. Now if we, if we have a look at this window that's popped up here, the only additional option that I want to include is to look at histograms. So I'll just click on that one, and if I was to click OK, which I won't because I've already run it, we'll pull up a window of new statistics results. Now what we want to have a look at here is first of all we've got our min, max and mean plots um, up on the graph here. Now the best thing to do is if you right click in this window here and go to plot key it gives you a, a bit of an assistance in terms of looking f at the legend and what each of those lines on the graph mean. So we've got our average plot which is the white line, our, our plus and minus one standard deviation and our minimum and maximum values in the red. Okay, so that's across each of the wave bands, your blue, green, red, near infrared and your two mid infrared wavelengths. So this is this these are the the statistical averages and standard deviations etc for all pixels in all bands in that image. We can if we go to clear plot we can go select plot and go histogram band one for example and see see the form of that histogram there. I could also look at histogram all bands and see the, the difference in each of the bands in those um, in, in terms of the number of pixels that are represented there. Now what we're actually really interested in doing here is we're using this as a precursor for looking at using dark pixel subtraction as a form of removing additive path radiance or basic atmospheric correction. And what you can see here is we're looking at these minimum values in each of the bands and what we want to do is if we subtract the minimum from all the from the the minimum value from each of the pixels in the image. Once we've done that correction, that should bring our statistics back to zero. So that's what we're looking for when, we, when we're performing that correction, and that's what calculating these statistics helps us with.